today i am here again with a new video regarding best wordpress hosting so in case if you plan to uh, host a website on wordpress or in case if you plan to create a website on wordpress or in case if you are using uh, wordpress as a platform and not satisfied with your current hosting and plan to move on uh, to the best wordpress hosting in this video i will be doing a detailed comparison regarding uh, bluehost and hosting regarding the best wordpress hosting for your website uh so but before i start i also like to tell you that uh, i have uh, uh yeah, like discussed uh, both of my uh, both videos like i have created a bluehost review where i discussed regarding the cons and pros of bluehost why you should go with the bluehost and why you should not go with the bluehost i also created a separate video regarding hosting where i discussed regarding hosting why you should go with the hosting or why you should not uh, buy the hosting uh, as a hosting service i also did uh, my written articles regarding such as this article on bluehost review and you know like another article uh, with best uh, hosting where i discussed regarding hosting and you know so i did a detailed a to z comparison of both platforms before doing this video so i know both i know hostinger i been using it for 2 years so use i have used bluehost in the past know the experience so in this comparison i will be doing a detail on why you should go with the bluehost or why you should go with hostinger what are the cons and pros of hostinger and what are the cons of pros of bluehost as a best wordpress hosting company so without a delay let's get started on this so i will be doing the best wordpress hosting comparison on five things age of the company data centers pricing features function and support of both companies so you guys have an exact idea on why you should go with a specific hosting company or why you shouldn't go with a specific hosting company if you ask me age of uh, either the bluehost is more older company or the hosting come on i have been seeing like uh, bluehost for years i have personally seen ads you know ever since i started my online career i have been witnessing the bluehost ads and it is from 2003 so like bluehost is like minimum of 20 years old as the time of creating this video so it's a 20 years old company if you ask hostinger hostinger rebranded rebranded again in 2006 and then 2011 so yeah it is all again an old company but if you ask me which one is the most oldest company and most recognized and that is bluehost bluehost is also you know like being ranked as a top 15 companies all around the globe for a best hosting so here one point for bluehost because bluehost is you know the most oldest company but if you ask me on my second question and my second question was regarding the data centers which has more i also have to add one more point and that is up time over here so regarding the data centers if in case if you ask me which has the more data centers option available with bluehost or with hostinger so bluehost is uh, bluehost data centers are primarily in usa uh, china and india and when it comes to hostinger hostinger has data centers in usa european countries list of european countries and in asia and india as well so here you know hostinger wins with a significant margin because hostinger has ample of data centers to host your website in case if you open up their fac on where they have data centers like you will come to know that they have in europe asia north america south america europe in singapore india usa brazil i mean netherlands lithuania you know uk so many countries and if you see for uh, bluehost you will find them in uh, usa india and china so here you know uh, hosting their wins with a significant margin because they have more option available for server locations to host your website so in case if you are concerned uh regarding server location then you have to opt for hostinger so now if you come to the pricing part uh, of a comparison of hostinger or uh, bluehost so in case if you click on the link in the description you will get exclusive discounts for both hostinger and bluehost with my link you are going to get up to 70% off on bluehost and with my link you are going to get up to 75% on hostinger and if you ask uh, plan wise to plan wise comparison you can see the plan comparison of here of bluehost uh with the pricing and uh, you can see the plans of 
hosting her over here and you know in case if you click on the link in the description uh, i'm gonna also tell you a secret code because you know this code only works in case if you click on the link in the description and then you while doing checkout on hostinger you can get additional discount by writing this code coupon code over here have a coupon code and write this coupon code to get additional discount on the existing existing deal so this is an added advantage you can get via hostinger but in but even bluehost plans are also good and you get a free domain free ssl free cdn uh used seo email clear i mean there are so many functions over here you know but if you ask me which plans are more cheaper i will give one more vote to hostinger here because hostinger plans are more cheaper uh but you know bluehost is more widely recognized more renowned so in case if you are more brand conscious then you can opt for bluehost but in case if you are more price conscious then you know hostinger is another good option to buy for now my next part is about uh functions and features you got gonna get with the bluehost or with the hostinger so let's do a feature to feature comparison of uh, hostinger versus bluehost so both offers you their website builder they have ample of things to get started your website but in case if you see on the functions features things you are gonna get although both gives you free wordpress migration tool free domain free ssl free cdn uh woocommerce installs your online payments but with on the hostinger you are gonna get backups you are gonna get entry processes you are gonna get park domains you are gonna get uptime guarantee you are gonna get unlimited ftb accounts email accounts and then the personalized support in case if you ask me on the support wise a comparison of bluehost or uh, hostinger i will give one more vote here again to hostinger because hostinger support is fast quicker and they have been widely more recognized with trust pilot 4.6 google 4.8 host advice taking them 4.5 wp beginner rate rating them as a 4.7 gives a competitive edge to hostinger because they they support and their features are extraordinary because you you can see yourself like you can gonna get free weekly backups you are going to get ssd storage they have their own custom uh, edge panel with hostinger you get their own custom edge panel which is an added advantage and then you get like mysql connections uh, mysql uh, you, like you are going to get gds support you are going to get tutorials you are going to get more server based resources like 1gb ram 1gb cpu core now bluehost doesn't commit that but because they are not committing it it means that uh they are not giving you that much value because they are not committing you that much value so if in case if if it if it's a general website it doesn't bother or it doesn't you know it doesn't make much of a difference either you host on a bluehost or either you host on a hosting but in case if it's an advanced or a big website then it can matter so if your website is a big and you know about hosting stuff then go with hosting it in case if you are a totally newbie and don't know much about hosting stuff and you just know the basics of wordpress yeah you can go with bluehost as well as hostinger then in case if you're a newbie bluehost is good to you go with. but in case if you are an advanced user or plans to use hardcore features on internet then hostinger has an added advantage with with their huge chunk of features they are providing you uh, when you buy hosting with them now my next question is regarding up i told you about features i also told you about support now the question is uptime both offers the industry's finest 99.9% uptime if you ask me which one is better both have both of them have very good uptime support service they are widely recognized i have never seen a complaint regarding this uh, when it comes to uptime but you can see a comparison like this you can see the trust pilot review here they are being rated as 4.2 and here hostinger is being great at trust pilot as 4.6 so four points more over here so hostinger again got an added advantage over here and if you ask me which one is officially recommended by wordpress to host your website online so both are being officially recommended by wordpress if you ask me which one was the first one to get yeah bluehost was the first one to get wordpress recognition and hostinger is the second company or you can say after bluehost they got the wordpress recommendation 
so in case if you plan to host your website online both platforms are really good bluehost has their own cons and pros hostinger has their own cons and pros i will recommend you to go with any of them and if you buy through the link in the description you are going to get discounts you are going to get up to 91% discount when you going to buy for hostinger through my link and you are going to get up to 70 Two percent off when you're gonna buy Bluehost through the link in the description. So if you ask me which one is more cheaper, you go with the Hostinger. Uh, if you are a newbie, which one you go you should opt for? I recommend you to go with the Bluehost. In case if you want more features, go with Hostinger. But in case if you are looking for a brand which is known as a top tier, top fifteen host all around the world, then it's the obviously Bluehost. So yeah, with this I like to end my review on best WordPress hosting company. Both are good. and both have their own benefits and cons and pros so i recommend you to uh, go with bluehost or hostinger depending upon your personal need just uh, follow the link in the description to get exclusive discounts and uh, but what's your opinion which one you like the most or in case if you have any things to like add in this video i will be looking forward for your comment in the comments box once again thank you for watching and bye bye